الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الله سبحانه وتعالى says in سورة البقرة in verse fifty three he says وإذا تين موسى الكتاب والفرقان لعلكم تهتدون Allah says in في كتاب الكريم he says وإذا تين موسى and when we gave Moses Al-Kitab wal furqan the book and the furqan the criterion, la'allakum tahtadun, in order that you would be guided. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning that he gave Moses the furqan, the book, and we're going to talk about it very quickly, the Torah. It was given to Moses, alayhi salatu wasalam, and it's a speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning the original Torah is a speech of Allah, the Almighty and Majestic. And it was given to Mo Moses, Musa, alayhi salatu wasalam. And this message from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given to, you know, the revelation uh, given to Moses, alayhi salatu wasalam, that this was for the children of Israel, okay? The followers of Moses, alayhi salatu wasalam. Imam Shinqiti, he says uh, about this, he said that this includes two issues. He says, the first thing, He said, the first issue is that Allah wrote it, meaning wrote the Torah, and he gave it to his messenger, which was Moses, alayhi salatu wasalam, and also may this peace and blessings be upon Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The second point here, with regards to this verse, he says, أَنَّهُ فُرْقَانْ أَيْ فَارِكْ بَيْنَ الْحَقِّ وَبَاطِلُ So he says, and also, that we learn from this verse, that, when Allah mentions Al Furqan, the Al Furqan meaning the criterion, it means that it is a criterion between the truth and falsehood. And that was the, the message. And that all the books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in fact, have this trait that they distinguish truth from falsehood. And some of the Mufassirin, meaning some of the scholars of Tafsir, also mention that this. Um, uh, this also shows the blessing of the Sharia, the blessing of revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the laws and, and, and the belief and everything that is commanded inside the books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that this shows the blessing and that it is a guidance for mankind and for those particular people during those times, especially the Torah and the Injil to Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam, and the Zabur to David, alayhi salatu wasalam, and the Quran to Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wasalam, who was the final last uh, prophet and messenger, sallallahu alayhi wasalam. But the Quran was given to as a guidance for all of mankind. And sometimes Allah mentions in the Quran that it is a guidance and it's a light, because it's a guidance and light for the uh, the pious ones. Because Allah says, Alif la mim, thalik al kitabu la raybafi. He says it's a guidance for the muttaqin, the muttaqin meaning the pious ones, those who adhere to the commandments of Allah and avoid his prohibitions. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, protect us from Kulisu wa Makru, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.